morning, friends. Welcome. My name is David, and I'm excited to share another class with you. Today's class is a 30-minute breath practice, and we'll add some gentle movement along with it. Nothing extravagant. The whole purpose of the breath class, and I feel like this is a good class to start incorporating throughout the week, is it doesn't matter which time of day you practice it. Um, breathing in general, obviously, it's good for the body, helps to calm the mind helps to bring us back to a present state. But there are techniques that we can learn how to expand our rib cage a little bit more, how to intake more oxygen. As we bring that oxygen in, the body naturally feels more relaxed. The mind naturally begins to subside and calm down. As we go through these practices, I'll explain the different techniques that we're gonna do and why we're doing them. Some of them may seem a little bit strange. Some of them will seem new to some of you who've never done breath work before. But when we practice it on a regular basis, we develop the muscles in the body that help to breathe. That would be our diaphragm. That would also be our rectus abdominis muscles if we choose to engage them in the breath practice. We also learn how to relax into our body to create more space. Essentially, if we can begin to stretch out the lung tissue a little bit more, the lungs are incredibly adaptive and they can open up. When we allow the lungs to open up, then we have more oxygen that can flow into our cardiovascular system. You will begin to notice over time, if you stick with the breath practice, that your intake of oxygen as well as your energy levels throughout the day will be naturally a little bit higher than normal. Now, it is advised, although any time of day is a good day to pr good time of day to practice breath work, I like to do it in the morning time just to set myself up. It's part of a sadhana of just waking up first thing in the morning, doing some breath exercises, making that part of the regularly scheduled program of the day. So that way, I've taken care of myself first. Now I can go into the rest of the day focused on what I can do to serve or be present for others along the way. It's all a practice, not saying I'm perfect at it at all, but I have recognized from my time in the military, my time in corporate America, my time in owning a own business that having some block time that I set aside first thing in the morning is a powerful way to start the day off right and move into the day that way. And you can also bookend your day with a little bit of breath work too, just slowing the body down, breathing deep, especially if you've had a hectic day. But with that said, we do have 30 minutes and I know myself, I can talk on and on, so let's go ahead and get into our practice. Let's close our eyes. As we close our eyes, let's begin by sitting upright. As we sit upright, draw the shoulder blades down the back, let the collarbones spread. For some, sitting upright for prolonged periods of time, you may feel a little bit of tension in the mid-back, perhaps in the lower back. Be present with this tension if it exists there and try to relax into the body. Find the balance between support and structure and relaxation. Let go of your day. Let go of your week. Let go of what's next and what's to come. Feel the flow of the breath into your body as your body is naturally breathing on its own. Feel the flow of the breath out of the body. Breath flowing in. Breath flowing out at 
your pace, at your body's pace. Nothing needs to be controlled at the moment. And let's begin to breathe together. Please take a long, slow breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale and fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, fill lungs up. And exhale, letting it go. Continue breathing on your own for a moment. Just scan through your body. Notice how your body feels today. Is there any stress? Is there any tension, tightness, soreness? Anything that feels out of balance or out of alignment? And as we move deeper into our practice, breathe deep, take breaks. Most importantly, listen to your body. Let's set an intention for our practice today. If you're working on something, letting go of something, releasing something, focus on that for just a moment. Please take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up to the top and then hold the breath. Sip in a little bit more air and set an intention, set a goal for your practice today. Be clear with it. Exhale, let it go. Place your hands over the heart. Let's do an OM together. Inhale. Inhale, fill lungs up. And exhale, letting it go. Release the hands down towards the knees. And softly blink the eyes open. So our first breath exercise will be a streak of breath, breath of fire. In breath of fire, we breathe in and out through the nose only. We seal the lips. It's going to sound like a sniffing dog. I'll demonstrate. I'll cue us to take a full breath in, we'll exhale out all the air, we'll breathe in halfway, and it will sound like this. Now what I'm doing is I'm pumping in and out, in and out my rectus abdominis muscles in concert with my diaphragm. Let's do this the best we can. We'll go for a minute together. Let's begin. Sit tall, shoulder blades down the back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, let it go. One minute begins.
30 seconds. Please take a deep breath in, fill your lungs all the way up to the top. Hold the breath, sip in a little bit more air, and then pause here. Reach the crown of the head upwards, spread through your collarbone, shoulder blades down the back. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. Smooth breath in, smooth breath out. Deep breath in, and exhale. One of the purposes of that breath, if you've ever read a book called the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, it's about Hatha Yoga and it has within it different cleansing techniques to help cleanse the body. One is through our sinus nasal cavities. We have a lot of stuff up there that gets stuck, congestion. Effectively, what we learn to do is also push that stuff out of our bodies using the breath as a natural method to clean the sinuses out. Let's go ahead and switch crossing of our legs. As we switch the crossing of our legs, the next breath we're going to do is Kapalabhati breath. Kapalabhati breath, what we, or skull shining breath. We breathe smoothly through the mouth and then forcibly exhale through the nose. Inhale through the mouth, forcibly exhale through the nose. Okay. Again, we're learning how to use our diaphragm and our core muscles together. This is another nasal cleansing technique that we can use to blow air out the nose as well as snot and everything else that may be stuck up in there. So we're going to go for a minute. Please sit tall, shoulder blades down the back, collarbones spread. Let's begin by first taking a full breath in. Exhale, releasing. Good. Sip in air through the nose, excuse me, through the mouth. Powerful exhale out the nose. Sip in through the mouth. 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 Out the nose. Few more rounds. Sip in through the mouth. Out the nose. Sip in through the mouth. Out the nose. Sip in through the mouth. Out the nose. Please take a deep breath in, fill the lungs all the way up. Exhale, letting it go. If you need a tissue, grab a tissue, wipe your nose off, use whatever you need to. For our next breath, we're going to do a movement breath 
Focusing on spinal extension on the inhale, spinal flexion on the exhale, rounding our back, shin to the chest. So let's begin. Inhale through the nose, lift the chest and chin, opening through the throat. Exhale out the nose, round the spine, separate the shoulder blades, dome the back. Inhale through the nose, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, round the spine, dome the back, chin to chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, rounding. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the nose. Good. How much can you extend? Inhaling. How much can you round? Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Couple more rounds. Inhaling. Exhaling. And inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, lift the chest up. Switch the crossing of the legs, other shin on top. Start to get into our side waist and our head and neck. So start to circle the head out. Go slow. As you circle, find your range of motion in the neck. You know, if we have tense muscles around the trachea, larynx, any sort of tension around the bronchial tubes that can constrict our airflow, which siphons the amount of air that can flow into our body, but also it ends up trapping heat because now you have a smaller space for that air to try to exit. So now our bodies may feel sometimes a little bit overheated. Learning to relax the Head, neck, circle your spine out. Relaxing the chest allows for more of a gentle flow of prana in and out of the body. Breath cycle for your spinal circles. Inhaling as you rise up. Exhaling as you dive down. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, diving down. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, diving down. Five. In and out through the nose. Four. Exhale, circle the head in the opposite direction. 
go slow. You know, especially in the morning time when the body's still cold and waking up. You know, if you watch an animal when it wakes up in the morning, it goes at things very methodically. It doesn't just jump out of bed. You know, and if we are living life and in a constant emergencies type state, look at that because that is not only contributing to your stress, which will eventually catch up to us. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it eventually has an impact. But it also impacts those around us as well. Now start to circle your spine out in the opposite direction. You know, next time if you have, for instance, a cat or a dog, just watch them, study them. Notice what they do in the morning. They have usually a pattern or something in place that helps get them out of bed and get them going. Now, a lot of times, too, animals will adapt to their owner's own anxiety patterns. So learning to watch that just a little bit, too. Inhaling as you rise. Exhaling as we dive down. Let's do five more rounds. Inhaling, exhaling, four more, inhaling, get into your side waist, exhaling, three more, inhaling, exhaling, two more, Inhaling, exhaling, last full round, inhaling, and exhaling. With your next inhale, rise back up. Uh, take your legs out in front of you. As you take your legs out in front of you, shake the legs out. Let's point our toes, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, fold over your legs, inhale, half lift, exhale, pull and fold in, inhale, rise and reach up, exhale, hands to the heart, four more. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Three more. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhaling, rise, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, flex your feet, two more. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, hands to our heart. Last round. Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise and reach up. Exhale, hands to our hearts. 
bring the soles of our feet together. As we bring the soles of our feet together, knees wide apart, with the knees wide apart, on an inhale, arms reach upwards. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, draw the hands back, palms face forward. Exhale, push the palms forward, round your spine. Inhale, turn palms up, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Inhale, arms out to the sides, we reach up. Exhale, draw the hands down to the heart center. Inhale, elbows draw back, palms forward. This helps to open the chest. Exhale, push round the spine. Inhale, turn the palms up, lift the chest, look upwards. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhaling, arms out to the sides, we reach up, working on shoulder mobility. Exhale, hands down to the heart center. Inhaling, elbows draw back, collarbones spread. Exhale, push the palms away, round the spine. Inhale, turn the palms up, reach up. Exhale, hands to our hearts. Inhaling, arms out to the sides, we reach up. Exhale, draw the hands down to the heart center. Inhale, we draw elbows back. Exhale, press the palms away from you, round the spine. Inhale, palms up, lift the chest, reach up. And exhale, hands to our heart center. And just come back into a comfortable cross-seated position. As we come back into a comfortable cross-seated position, just a few minutes left. Hands on the knees, palms face down, focused on balanced breath. Let's have a balanced day today. Five count inhale, five count exhale. Find just a brief pause at the top and base of each inhale and exhale. Let's begin. First, smooth breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, let it go. And begin, inhale, one, two, three, four, Five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhaling, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, exhaling, five, four, three, two, one, inhaling, one, two, three, four, five, exhaling. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling. One, two, three, four, five. Exhaling. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, fill your lungs all the way up to the top. Hold the breath. Sip in a little bit more air. Come back to the intentions you set for your practice today.
and exhale, let it go. Hands over our hearts. We'll finish with an OM. Inhale. breath in and exhale bow your head down towards your hands just honoring yourself today your practice for showing up on your mat we honor our friends families loved ones and supporters and as always in gratitude we give thanks to the teachers and guides who came along before us who passed along these practices called yoga meditation breathing pranayama release the hands down on the knees softly blink the eyes open lift the shins Thanks so much, everybody, for joining. If you have any feedback, let me know. Um, these are going to be changing a little bit. Uh, I'm going to incorporate a little bit more breath work, maybe even increase the time a little bit in which we do the breath work. But uh, I find it's just such a healthy and helpful way to start the day. You know, at the very end, when we were doing the five count inhale, five count exhale, we were slowing our breath down to about three and a half rounds per minute, whereas a normal person who's not aware of their breath, breathes roughly about 15 to 17 times a minute. So you can probably feel already just some of the benefits, a little bit more calm. Take that into the rest of your day. As you move through your rest of your day, come back to your intentions. Visit them from time to time. What is it that you are really focused on in life? Move in that direction by letting that be a key note to place your awareness. The more we practice that, the easier it gets, the more creative we are, the more we begin to expand personally and are able to just grow. So I thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Ho'oponopono. Aho. Namaste.